you take a rat and you you train it to press a lever and get a reward. Well, the thing about that is who owns the associative conditioning? Well, the rat. What does that mean? No individual cell in that rat had both experiences, getting the reward and pressing the lever. And there has to be an integrated system with, with sufficiently high causal emergence such that it can know things that the individual parts don't know. So, so the obvious thing is that you have to have sufficiently high integrated causality in order to do associative conditioning. Now, now that is an incredible thing. We found out that some networks, the more you train them, the more real they become as something that has properties that its parts don't have. The second thing we found out is the reverse is also true, which is that the higher your causal emergence, the better learner you are. And the third amazing thing is that if you force the networks to forget which we're very interested in because there's lots of situations in medicine where you would like to make your somatic networks forget things. Whatever gains in causal emergence you made when you were learning, you don't lose them. That means, I think, that there is an asymmetric ratchet pointing upwards in intelligence. 